Oh, right, I'm going to do a video today called The Sin of Sodom. I'm going to go through some verses that clearly condemn sodomy, which is the biblical term for the modern thing, homosexuality. And I'm going to show you some verses that clearly condemn it, and I'm going to show you some science. Some actual science from government websites, not some right-wing Baptist website, from government websites that show why sodomy is wrong. Okay? Let's get right into it. Genesis chapter 13, verse number 13. Says, actually verse 12 to 13, says, And Abram dwelled in the land of Canaan, and Lot dwells in the city of the plain, and pitched his tent toward Sodom. Verse 13, But the men of Sodom were wicked, and sinners before the Lord exceedingly. You see, the Sodomites, they're not just sinners. According to that passage, they're sinners before God exceedingly. Interesting. Uh, Leviticus chapter 20, verse number 13. And if you know the story of Sodom and Gomorrah, God actually eventually rains down fire from heaven and just, just totally destroying Sodom and Gomorrah. And if you know Genesis chapter 19, the Sodomites and Sodom and Gomorrah actually were trying to rape the two men that were with Lot, which actually, they were actually angels. Those two men were angels. But the men, both old and young, if you read Genesis 19, they all surrounded the house. And I read Genesis 18 to 19, they all surrounded the house. And they wanted, they wanted to harm those two men. Because that's the nature of sodomites. They want to harm people. Leviticus chapter 20, verse number 13. If a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination that shall surely be put to death, their blood shall be upon them. You see, God compares or calls sodomy an abomination. And it's kind of funny because uh, in verse 15 of Leviticus 20, if a man lie with a beast, he shall surely be put to death, and he shall slay the beast. God condemns bestiality in the same context with sodomy. You see, and again, one's not, I mean, one is not any weirder than the other. Both, both bestiality and sodomy are equally weird. One's not any weirder or disgusting than the, more disgusting than the other. They're both equally disgusting and equally weird. So you can see why God condemned it in the same passages. One's not any more gross than the other. Leviticus chapter 18, verse number 22. Leviticus 18, verse 22. says, Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind, it is abomination. And funny, again, again, next verse. Verse 23, Neither shalt thou lie with any beast to defile thyself, thyself therewith, neither shall any woman that stand before a beast to lie down, sorry, lie down, not good at reading on a computer, there too it is confusion. Again, God condemns bestiality and sodomy in the same context. You see, and again, I'll, I'll, I'll keep reiterating it. One is not any weirder than the other. They're both equally weird and disgusting. And uh, final verse I like to go to is Deuteronomy chapter 23. Deuteronomy 23, verse 17. says, There shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel, nor a sodomite of the sons of Israel. You see, I don't use this modern term gay or LGBT. The biblical term is sodomite. That's what I call them. Now, for all you atheists out there, you say, and eh, the Bible, I don't believe the Bible. Okay, let's see if you believe science. So this is from, this is all from HIV.gov, a government website, and I'm going to link the sources in the description. And at the end of the video, I'm going to show the sources on screen, the link to the sources. So you may not believe the Bible, but let's see if you believe science, and let's see if you believe your own American government. So first fact. Gay and bisexual men are the, are the, sorry, are the populations most affected by HIV. This is according to HIV.gov. They are the populations most affected by HIV. Gay, I mean, I'll call them sodomites. Sodomite and bisexual men and other men who have sex with men are, represent an estimated 26,000 new HIV infections per year. Hmm. It's funny because sodomites are only 2% only like of the population. 26,000 HIV infections? Hmm. I'll let, let that sink in. Sodom and bisexual men account for, accounted for 66%, 20, 20, or also 25,748, of all HIV diagnoses, and, and 82% of HIV diagnoses amongst, male, amongst males, sorry, not good at reading on a computer, in 2017. Gay, sodomite, sorry, I keep saying gay, and bisexual men are, have, have the largest number of HIV diagnoses in the United States. Again, not, not me making this up, not from some kooky Baptist website. This is from a government website, HIV.gov, and I'm going to show the sources at the end of the video. So you have it right there. I mean, from the government's own websites. 
You know, it literally says that gay and bisexual men are among the populations most affected by HIV. Still a problem with them, you know? And I'll say, and straight people get it too. It's kind of funny because when HIV and AIDS first came about, it only affected sodomites. But then straight people began getting it. Normal, straight, you know, basically normal people began getting it when these pervert, perverted sodomites began donating blood and giving drugs and everything like that and affecting straight people because they're sex perverts. They want to affect everyone else with them. So, yeah, if you're a Christian out there, you should not be pro-sodomite. There's a common, it's common among Christians now to be pro-sodomite. Well, sodomy is clearly condemned in scripture. God calls it an abomination and likens it to bestiality. You know, so you you'll be against, so these Christians will, will claim to be to oppose the bestiality, which is good. I mean, any normal person, I mean, there are sodomites who are disgusted by bestiality. Kind of says a lot. But you oppose bestiality, but then you support sodomy. Um, how does that work? You can't. Both of them are an abomination to God. Both bestiality and sodomy are called an abomination to God. And again, if you're an atheist, if you don't believe the Bible, hopefully you believe science. And hopefully, hopefully, if you're an American atheist, hopefully you believe your own government. Because this is from a government website. So, anyway, God bless you. Goodbye.